What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the channel. I'm gonna ready to show you how to do a really cool effect where your video shows through letters. Okay, it's called video masking, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. You ready? Here we go. All right, so check it out. This is a real cool uh, feature if you're doing a video and you wanna just do something that really looks good on screen. And this is inspired by a guy named Kurt over in um, iMovie Tips and Tricks on Facebook. A part of it, it's a group that I'm a part of where we just share tips and tricks with people. And so I'm gonna show you something. He did this very same trick using Keynote. I'm gonna do the same trick using Pages and then do it in, do, do the animation part within iMovie. So here's how we do it. The first thing we gotta do is we have to open up a brand new project for iMovie. So what I'm gonna actually do is utilize a template that I've already done. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because I know that this template is already set for 16 by nine aspect ratio, which means it'll fill up the entire screen. Now, for I, I need to shrink this down so I can see everything, but this is gonna be where I'm gonna work. So I'm gonna delete all of the stuff that I don't need. All right, I don't need any of that. That's number one. Now, what I'm going to do is I need to take this box and I need to make it all black because if it's when, once it's black, then I can add my letters to it. So we're going to turn it all black and now it's all black. All right. Next step, we're going to grab our text that we need. So we're going to type in here and I'm going to type just like he did. I'm going to type video. Um, I think I spelled it wrong. I'm in the dark. V-I-D-E-O mask. All right. So I got two words. I'm going to highlight those two words and I'm going to center them inside the box. That's next step. Now what I'm going to do is get me a different font because I want my font to look really, really cool. And I'm going to blow, turn this green. You have to turn it green because once we get inside of iMovie, we're going to be using green screen to create the effect where the letters are showing in the green way was the green screen is going to flow through like that. And it's going to zoom right in and right into our video. Okay. So now we got to make this very, very big. So we're going to go up, make it large. And I'm probably going to have to enlarge this box and make this a little bit bigger uh, so that we have some room to work with. But remember, I'm watching everything that I'm doing because this is on screen. So this is in our 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So we're going to do this. Now, once I get this as big as I want it to be, and I know that it fits my screen the way I want it, then I'm going to show you where, what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen before you actually see it. Okay, and so here's what's going to happen. Once we get this on screen, oops, I want a little bit too big. Once we get this on screen, I'm going to make this zoom in and that A, I'm going to make it zoom right through that A and then the picture is going to show in between it. So the letters, you'll see the video within the letters on the black screen. And as it's opening up, this is great for credits. It'll go right through and into it. So we're going to start with this, right? We got it. So now that we got this, it's really, really simple from here. All we have to do is turn this into a PDF. So we go up here, export to PDF, and you wanna make certain it's set for best. Auto always make certain it's set for best. Once we do that, we're gonna call it video mask. Now it should, yeah, there we go. Now I just dumped it out to my hard drive. So I know it's sitting there. I'm gonna go out here. And I did one earlier, there's mask. I want the one that says video mask. So that I, so I grab the proper one. Uh, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. There it is right here. So we open up the PDF and there it is. Now we're going to take that PDF and we're going to export that. We have to do this. You have to turn it into a JPEG. Once we turn this into a JPEG, this is where we want it. Make it as crisp as possible. Give it as many pixels as we need. Make it nice and bright, nice and pretty. Get rid of pixelation and all that kind of stuff. And now we got it. So here it is right here. One more step. We take this and we crop this. Um down so that our 16 by 9 box is the same size as our TV screen is going to be or our computer screen is going to be. So that's where we want it. So now that we got this, we crop it. That's our entire screen, right? Right. So now we're going to save that and we know where it is. It's right there, right? Now we go back to iMovie and this is where it gets really, really good. We go to iMovie and this is the, this is the video that we're going to overlay on. So we open up our um, finder again pull in our video or, or our picture that we're going to use and we set it on top of our video so that it shows up just like this. Now you'll notice as soon as we put it in, 
the Ken Burns effect kicked on. We actually want the Ken Burns effect on this video. So we're going to stretch this out a little bit, right? So imagine if you had a clip that was longer and you wanted this to go through. So what we do here, watch this. We go up here and we go green screen. And as soon as we do this, now you can see the video behind the letters, right? So now, we, but, but now we need it to go through because it doesn't go through. The next thing we need to do is come over here to Ken Burns and we know where we want it to end, right? So we're going to take it. Now, what I'm going to do real quick, because I wanted you to see that, I want to put the green back so you can see where it goes. We're going to take the Ken Burns effect. We're going to shrink it down pretty small. We're going to bring it right down here. And we're going to shrink it and we're going to shrink it. And now that Ken Burns effect is on the top of that A, just like I said, right? So it's going to start out here and it's going to zoom in to right there with the video behind it. Now, the next thing we do, we go back, hit our green screen and boom, voila, we got it. Now, once we press play, you're going to watch it. And that's another way to do it. You can do it in Keynote. It works there. You can also do it through Pages and do the exact same thing. You can make that video show through and make it just slide right on out. There's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just two options. Thanks, Kirk, for the inspiration on how to do that. And listen, man, if you guys are loving these videos, check us out. Check me out right here on our YouTube channel or check us out on, our, on my Facebook page. You can get me on either one. Also, come check us out in the iMovie Tips and Tricks uh, on Facebook. It's a lot of guys in there that are showing some really, really cool tricks. And uh, so, yeah. Um, so if you like it, listen, comment, like, subscribe, share all those things. Keep looking back. Check out the channel for more videos. I will catch you guys next time. Peace.